Right now, there are 51 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. This list of erupting volcanoes includes Great Sitkin in Alaska, which has been erupting since May of 2021 via producing an ever-growing andesite lava dome. It also includes Fuego in Guatemala, which has been erupting continuously since January of 2002, frequently producing large pyroclastic flows. With this being said, here are a few of this week's major volcano-related news stories. At the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii, its western flank was hit with a storm of earthquakes caused by the movement of magma. Meanwhile, in Washington state, a misunderstanding during Volcano Week led to the incorrect assumption that Glacier Peak was about to erupt. And, in several countries around the world, this week was marked by a series of three surprise volcanic eruptions. The most notable of these new eruptions occurred at Mount Etna on the evening of February 10th. There, a so-called paroxysm, which is a short yet violent burst of activity, created a series of 500 to 1,000 meter high lava fountains alongside pyroclastic flows. This marks Etna's first paroxysm of 2022 and could either signal that more paroxysms will occur in the next week, or it could signal a several week period of far lower eruptive intensity. Several thousand kilometers to the east offshore of the Russian peninsula of Kamchatka, the Abeko volcano produced a brand new eruption on February 6th. This new eruption was over in the span of several minutes as it represented a phreatic eruption caused by heat of underlying magma flashing groundwater to steam and generating an explosion. Although small, it marks Abeko's first eruption since November 9th of 2021, which ended a five-year-long volcanic sequence. Several thousand kilometers to the southwest, the famous Taal volcano in the Philippines produced a comparatively smaller phreatic eruption in its central acidic crater lake on February 10th. This eruption occurred at 4.16 p.m. local time and lasted for 27 seconds. It marks the 11th phreatic explosion to occur since its newest volcanic sequence began on January 29th. In Washington state, the U.S. Geological Survey highlighted the active Glacier Peak volcano as part of its volcano week. In a statement, they discussed that despite being a very high-threat volcano, only one seismometer was present on its edifice. This is insufficient to properly detect volcanic unrest or an intrusion of magma if one were to occur, so the USGS raised public awareness about this gap in their sensor grid as an attempt was being made to secure relevant funds from Congress. The problem is that their statement of a very high threat volcano, which is completely accurate, was misinterpreted as very high threat of an eruption right now by certain media outlets who subsequently had a field day misreporting this news. In contrast, Glacier Peak is currently at a green or normal alert level, as has been the case since 1700 when its last eruption occurred. There are no signs of an imminent eruption occurring, as its one present seismometer hasn't detected a single volcanic earthquake in the last month. Typically, at least three seismometers and some ground deformation monitoring equipment are needed to properly surveil an active volcano. Glacier Peak truly needs additional equipment as even a small volcanic eruption could result in the loss of thousands of lives, and with only one seismometer, we might honestly miss signs of the next eruption. While few people live around Glacier Peak, the next eruption could be lethal for those living up to 80 miles to the west due to the threat of long-traveling lahars. Lahars are a type of dangerous mud flow with a viscosity of concrete and would be certainly generated by any future eruption due to the amount of ice on Glacier Peak. If you live in one of the colored regions shown on this map, then you live on top of this volcano's lahar deposits. In Hawaii, the Mauna Loa Shield volcano has been at a heightened alert level for more than two years. During this time period, magma has moved underneath its edifice, causing the volcano to uplift by several inches. This movement has on occasion also generated swarms of earthquakes which occur due to the magma cracking rocket encounters. One such earthquake swarm occurred between February 3rd and 7th at an area approximately 4 miles west of its central caldera, during which more than 100 small magnitude earthquakes are registered. While these quakes were definitely volcanic in origin, they were not associated with any increase in fumaroliate activity. Thus, although it represented a spike in activity, an eruption is not imminent. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which could erupt in the near future. Thanks for everyone who helped my channel reach 100,000 subscribers. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Mercilian for supporting this channel.